please welcome Linda, Donna, and Lisa, all of whom have, have provided foster care for these fragile babies. And, and let me first just say, wow. You're incredible. What you are doing yeah. is, it, it is <laughs> so unselfish, so giving, and so remarkable because these little babies need so very much just to survive. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole host of psychological, social, and medical issues that, that go along with the meth addiction and what happens to the babies. And let me show you. And you started to touch on that um, briefly. But basically, when you have a meth addicted mom, she's not only taking methamphetamine, she's probably also taking other drugs like alcohol and smoking tobacco as well. So all these substances are going to go into the mother, either she's gonna smoke them. And again, even the methamphetamine can be cut with different type of substances. So we don't know exactly what's happening, but we do know that these meth moms present with hypertension most of the time. And that's how they're, they're looked at. We see the hypertension. What happens with the hypertension is it constricts the vessels that go to the baby. So these vessels constrict and that also decreases the blood flow to the baby and can make them be small for gestational age. Um, it can also cause uh, placental abruption, which is very dangerous and life-threatening to the mother as well as the baby. Um, but it can also cause premature labor and the, the premature deliveries that we see with methamphetamine babies. Now, this affects the baby in a whole host of ways besides hypertension. It goes to the baby and it can also affect all the different systems of the baby, including the cardiovascular system. It can cause hypertension and problems in the cardiovascular system. It can cause cleft palates. It can cause birth defects because you don't know what time the methamphetamine was used because usually these women don't get good prenatal care. Um, and also it can affect the gastrointestinal system, the central nervous system. It can affect just about every system of the baby, also the motor and development skills as well. So these babies need a lot of attention as well. The mothers have addictions and they are needing attention and that's why they can't give attention mm -hmm. to their, yeah. their and children. Long term for these kids, you know, after they're born, you know, to deal with their learning problems, behavior problems, any birth defects, SIDS is 20 times higher in a baby uh, when the mom used drugs. So, you know, there's a lot of problems to address. And, you know, it's not just illicit drugs. You know, mm -hmm. every hour a baby is born to a mother that was addicted to prescription drugs, you know, usually painkillers. And oftentimes, you know, the mom and the doctor know about it, but, you know, the mom maybe had chronic back pain and needed to be on his medications, but now the baby has to get, you know, is born addicted to these things, and, and it's a big problem. So many challenges for these babies, and the question is, of course, what happened to these foster babies? You won't believe where they all ended up. Stick around.